Weak? No. I wish I had your strength. By the way, you did an excellent job. The cut you made was quite professional. Whatever you do is 100%, isn't it? I would have guessed you would have more courage. You have good family, good friends. It really wasn't fair for you to act as if nobody in the world cared for you anymore. Parents, good friends. <laughs> well, I was in the courtroom. I was watching your mother. She'd have given anything if she could have helped you. Yeah. And were you watching my very devoted friends? Helping me? <laughs> friends. Oh, Teddy tried to give you some support. How was he to know he'd get you in trouble if he said you left before 10? Ah, and Viola? Oh, that's something else. She really gave it to you where it hurts. She used to be a friend of yours, didn't she? Well, be good. Would you like a cigarette? No. Go on. Thanks. Use the saucer. Ashtrays are bad luck for you. What are you in for? Hey there, keep quiet. What'd you get? Buddy, that'll be just a snap. You're released as cured. Now, when you get back to your special little apartment, don't expect too much for the first couple of days. It's a slow business. You have to be patient. You know, the thing that puzzles me more than anything else is what happened to Eula. The way she disappeared. I wonder where she could be. Well, behave yourself. If you ever want to talk to somebody, have the need to let off some steam, just tell them you want to come and see me. Thank you. Don't wait too long. If you ever want to talk to somebody, don't wait too long. rest you know. There's nothing else to tell you. So? You were an idiot. You should have listened to Eula. She sounds like a damn fine person. She is. They noticed it right away at Mrs. Tyson's, where we spent that weekend. They wanted her to make her home there. So that's the way it was, and that's why Eula was never located to testify. Because you wouldn't admit her name was false and her papers forged. The real reason was I didn't want her to be sent back to the home. And even so, it wouldn't have made any difference. She ran out when I arrived. You haven't any idea where she is.
Good day, Miss Ryman. How do you do? I bring your regards from Fabian. Thank you. Please sit down. How is he? You didn't hear what happened? No. He's been sent to prison. I knew it would happen. For murder. Killing Begula. Murder? That was the court's verdict. I'm not so sure. When did this happen? April the 28th, Eula. It was right after you went away. Pagula was still alive when I telephoned. Fabian had already left. What? Do you mean you telephoned? From the station. Pagula answered the telephone. Wait just a minute. The best thing for you to do is to start in at the beginning. Tell me exactly what happened that night. We had quarreled, Fabian and I. I didn't want to see him, so I decided to come out here. I'd already checked my suitcase, and then I ran into Mr. Bagula. Was it 7.30? Yes. He followed me back to the house where I'd gone after buying my ticket. We all sat there till about, um, it was nine. Now listen, Miss Ryman. Before you answer this next question, I want you to think very carefully. Was Mrs. Collis in the house about nine o'clock? Yes. Hmm. Then? I was going into the front room, and Bagula, he followed me. He tried... He tried to attack you? Yes. I was trying to fight him off. Suddenly, Fabian was there. He went after Bagula. I was scared and ran off. Then what? When did you telephone? About 15 minutes later. I was terribly worried. So I called up and... It was answered, surprisingly enough, by Mr. Bergula. Yes. No. I wasn't there. The whole story's too foolish. Suppose Miss Ryman should testify to it. Listen. It won't work. You know why. I have an eyewitness. The superintendent next door swore to it in court. He saw me walking at 9.30. It happened then. I'm not a magician, you know. How could I possibly have been there? Then you must have been able to leave the house without anybody seeing you. Impossible. How? How could I? With strings. The super was standing in front of the door all evening. I told you that. That's right. Do you realize that an innocent boy is doing five years in prison? My horse. Can you bring him back? What do you mean by innocent? There is a witness who can prove it. Ah, I'm sorry, you'll never convince me of that. I can't. But the district attorney will. <laughs> <laughs>